Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use Monday.com for personal tasks management in 2023. Monday.com is the first style platform that can help you stay organized, track your personal tasks and increase your productivity. So in this guide, we'll walk you through the essential steps to get started with Monday.com for managing your personal tasks. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. In my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course in your case you can use any other browser this could possibly have. Once you open this browser, or whatever browser you prefer, go to this URL section and type monday.com and hit the enter button. That should take you directly to the home screen or main screen of monday.com website. Of course, I already logged in into my account, so that's why I'm getting this. For you, if it's your first time, you will be taken to a different page, which is going to be the home page of monday.com if it's your first time without logging into my account or your account. So for you, click on login at the top right corner. If you have an account, to we'll login into your account. And if you don't have an account, click on get started. So of course, to create your account, you will find some prompts to follow them to create your account. Simply, once you do so, of course, you will be able to log in or create your accounts, both with the Google account, if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. And once you logged in into your account, you will just create your account. You'll find yourself on this home screen here on the monday.com. So here, we'll have to simply start by creating a dedicated workspace in monday.com specifically for your personal tasks. Of course, this will serve as your centralized hub for organizing and managing your to-do lists. So simply go to this uh, three dots, click on it, and click on add a new workspace. You can name it whatever you want, as an example, personal use. And you can make you can just make it open because this close is for enterprise only. Of course, uh, this open will allow every team member in this account that can join this workspace. So click on add workspace here as an example, and here we'll be able to go and set up a task board. So we can simply create a task board within your personal workspace to categorize and prioritize your tasks. You can create boards based on different areas of your life, such as work, home, health, or hobbies. And of course, this will help your tasks organized and easily accessible. So as an example, click on this plus panel here, and this will add items to your workspace. So here, we'll be able to add our board as we said. So click on add board, and here, you can give it whatever name you want. As we said, a work, home, health, hobby. So let's just use this for work as an example. You can give us, or keep its main, private or shareable. So as you can see main visible for everyone in this account, private for work privately or for working privately alone with selected team members or in shareable for working privately with guests outside your account. So I'm just going to make it main as an example and you can select what you're managing, items, budgets, employees and a lot of other stuff. If you didn't find what you want here, you can simply go and select custom and choose whatever suits you. For me, I'm just going to choose tasks as an example and click on create board. Of course, this will take a few seconds, not a lot of time, as you can see, and it will be created. So here, you will be able to add tasks card. So within each task board, of course, we can create tasks card for individual tasks. Of course, each task card represents a specific task to do or to do item and includes relevant details such as task name, due dates, priority level, and any additional notes attachments. So as an example, the task one should be as an example, uh, I don't know, uh, show up to work at 8 a.m. as an example, or 8.30, and click on updates. And here we are, that's our first task example. Of course, the person could be me, could be other one. So the status is done, stuck, working on it, or you can even go and add other labels if you want to. So as you can see from here, you can select the labels from here and do whatever suits you. So of course, you can even change the name of it from item one to whatever you want. So as an example, showing up, showing up and click on enter. And as you can see, the task has changed and even the description of it. So what do I have? What should I do? Show up at work at 8.30. So of course, this is just a comment. Of course, you can add other comments if you want. So once you added or your task card, you can even customize the columns as example. So you can customize the column within your task board to fit your personal task management needs. You can even add as example columns such as uh, status, uh, assignee, label, or time tracking. Tailor the column to capture the relevant information for each task. And of course, 
you can change the dates as example or the person as you said before you can even go and prioritize the schedule so let me just close this and you can review your task card and prioritize them based on urgency or importance you can different uh, or use different uh, feature like due dates from here you can change the dates from here uh, or deadlines to ensure timely competition of task of course then consider utilizing the calendar uh, view to get a visual overview of your schedule task you can also assign uh, the tasks so and collaborate. So if you're working on personal task as a part of a team or with family members, you can uh, assign tasks to specific individuals, as an example from here, from this person. So you can change the person from you. You can invite other people and assign the tasks to them. Uh, within the monday.com uh, of course and of course this will allow uh, this allows for collaboration and ensures everyone is aware of their responsibilities so as an example this has for me uh, you can add this task for another one you can add some comment to uh, com to have a good communication with others and of course you can go and uh, track the progress and updates so update the status of your task as you make pro progress and use features like checklists or progress tracking to break down the larger tasks into manageable subtasks you can regularly update the task card to reflect current status and keep track of your progress. And of course, you can explore the automation feature like monday.com to simplify your, of course, within the monday.com to simplify the personal task management, uh, automate rec recruiting or recruiting, recurring, sorry, uh, tasks and set up some reminders, example, uh, by enabling, first of all, the desktop notification. And of course, trigger action based on specification uh, specific uh, condition you can also integrate monday.com with other tools uh, to so you can use it for personal pro productivity such as calendar apps or note taking platforms of course you can integrate everything from here as an example so you can find all the integrations from here you'll find everything so make sure to integrate it with whatever you want and you can use the automation option from here so look for whatever uh recurring as we said and other stuff that you can simply add or automate it uh, from here so choose whatever suits you and add it as you can see click on use templates of course you can even go and add some custom ones if you want to or if you have the knowledge on how to do so and it will not be a big problem and once you're done of course uh periodically you can review your task board and evaluate your pro your progress and reflect on completed task identify any challenges and make adjustments to your workflow if necessary you can celebrate with accomplish or you can celebrate your accomplishments and use the insights gained to improve your personal productivity and make sure to stay consistent consistent and adapt so consistency is the key when it comes to personal task management Make it a habit to regularly update your task board and check off completed tasks and review upcoming tasks. As you gain experience, adapt your setup and workflow to better suit your needs and preferences. And if you reach this point of this video, congratulations, you've learned how to use monday.com for personal task management in 2023. Of course, you can effectively manage your personal tasks and increase your productivity. So take advantage of the powerful features offered by monday.com and enjoy the benefits benefits of efficiency personal task management. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below in this channel and subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. So thanks for watching and happy ties organizing and I will see you in the next video.